OK, so for today's lecture, we are going to carry on with performance measure for under them free vibration. Before I go on, I'd like to apologize to you. I, I, I put in homework two and I, I selected the wrong question for question three and four. Those of you have put significant time on question three and four, I do apologize. OK, so I've uploaded. So those questions I think are all doable. OK, most of them. Right. So coming back to here. So yesterday when we left off, I emphasized that you have to to know how to label this diagram. What is a rise time? What is a peak time? What is a settling time? OK. So the next thing that we are we are going to look at. OK, so I'm going to manipulate this equation slightly now, OK? So we found that our constant C1 is equal to XXS, OK? Based on the boundary condition that we have over here, OK? So this is these are the boundary condition that we have, we, have, we have put in, OK? But coming back to our expression over here, where we have X as a function of time, is equal to E minus alpha T, OK, uh, C1 cos omega t plus by C2 sine omega t. So now we are going to manipulate what is alpha. OK, so we know that alpha is equal to C over 2m. OK, so I've done this on Friday, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, do it again. So we are going to let omega n is equal to square root k over m, right? And then we are going to let zeta square or zeta is equal to square root of c squared over 4mk, OK? So, as already mentioned, zeta. So, this is our zeta. And zeta is also known as our, there's a name for it. I'm, I'm looking for it if I can find it. Zeta is also known as our damping factor. Okay. It's also known as our damping factor. So when now, what I like to do is if we were to assemble zeta multiplied by omega n, right? So this will be equal to c squared over 4mk. And then you multiply by square root k over m. At the end of the day, right? So you can cancel your k you will get c squared over 4m squared, which is equal to c over 2m. And this is in term equal to alpha. So with respect to equation number one, with respect to equation number one, so therefore, x as a function of time, I promise to write better, okay? Because I saw some of your notes. You're not writing properly. I think it's my fault. Okay, I did not write big. So this will be equal to minus zeta omega nt, right? Bracket C1 cos omega t plus by C2 sine omega t. So it's common to see an expression like this, okay? So now we go and look at the rise time, which we finish off, okay? So rise time is our TR, is the time, okay? Or it is the, the, the time taken, or it is the response, or, it is not the response, it is to evaluate 
the response of the system okay when omega t is equal to pi over two okay. and this pi over two as i mentioned before is just we decide to create a standard that the rise time is based on omega t is equal to pi over two there's no mathematical derivation about it so if you look at one cycle is equal to 2 pi right so one cycle is equal to 2 pi pi over 2 is basically equal to a quarter cycle okay basically is quarter cycle so therefore i will copy and paste not to worry i did not know i run off page so quickly So therefore, omega tr is equal to pi over two. Okay. So some of you might ask, uh, what is omega? Note. that omega is equal to square root 4mk minus c squared divided by 2m. Okay. That is what our omega. Now, if we were to look at our uh, omega, right? if we look at our omega, so what I'm going to uh, introduce Wait, let me see when, yeah. So if we were to just, and uh, again, I, I I did do this on Friday, but I, I, I think I'll do it again. Okay, so I will let this whole thing be equal. Okay. So this will be equal to 4MK. over 4m squared minus by c squared over uh, 4m squared okay so when when i i, I think we can uh we can factor out k over uh m all right we can we can take out k over m so this will be equal to uh, k over m or square root of k over m and then multiply again okay so this will be equal to uh all of a sudden i'm a i'm a big so i take out 4m so i have 4 m over 4m minus by i know that i can have c squared over 4mk because i the fact i take out i take out a m and the numerator is a k i have to introduce a k on the denominator so in this context what we have this is equal to omega n square root of one so c squared over 4mk is also equal to zeta squared okay remember we wrote zeta earlier all right we, we looked that zeta is equal to square root of c squared over what 4mk So from here, I'm going to write out what is our peak time. Okay. So peak time
which correspond to our TP. Okay, that's our TR. So if to go back to the diagram again, regarding our peak time. So it's the time taken to reach our first peak, as you can see over here. And is labeled as pi. Okay. So coming back to this, so is the time taken. Or the system. To rise. From zero to the first peak. Okay. So we can write up the expression omega TP will be equal to pi. Okay. So this is another equation that we have. Okay. Now, to remember, this is quite straightforward. You just need to remember the what? Remember the graph. Okay. So the next thing that we are going to calculate is what we call overshoot. Okay. So we already know the peak time is related to the overshoot, right? So overshoot. occurs when omega t is equal to pi. Okay, Omega t is equal to pi. And with that, we can also write the time is equal to pi over omega. Okay. So if we go back to our equate or, or to our graph over here. What we are trying to do at this point, at the first peak, this is known as our overshoot. Okay. And the overshoot is critical, right? The faster you want the settling time to be, the shorter you want the settling time, mathematically is the higher the, your what? Your overshoot, okay, and and cautious has been be taken because the overshoot can induce higher stresses in the opposite direction in your structure. Okay, so we have to be cautious. So we know that overshoot occurs when omega t is equal to uh, pi. Okay, so now if we were to come back to this equation again, okay, we were to come back to this equation that we have just written out. Okay, so this equation we have just written out earlier, right? So from this equation, we want to find x at a time i over omega. Okay. So this will be equal to e minus zeta omega n multiplied by pi over omega bracket c1 cos omega multiplied by pi over omega plus by c2 sine omega multiplied by pi over omega and then we close our uh, bracket again by the way, I do forget that this you have to plus by x s as your steady state. So if you were to switch your calculator in radians form now, okay. So in 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 radian, right? So I I write up the first example. So exponential function of minus zeta 